Hitfilm Sensei here. Today, in this video, we are going to do lightsaber extensions. So the short version of this is to simply manipulate the keyframing of the extension property under the tip part of the two-point auto lightsaber effect. Okay, but I'm going to show you something that's really cool. If you have a lightsaber like my son has that can extend like that, well, then you have a prop blade that you can actually align your extension to. Okay, but what happens if you just have a lightsaber like this? Can you go ahead and extend that as a lightsaber even if it's moving a little bit? Yes, you can, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, this little trick will help you to develop your lightsaber ignition, whether the ignition is fast or slow, whether the lightsaber is moving or not moving, even if you don't have a prop blade to help you out. So I'm gonna take my raw footage and right click on it and make it into a composite shot and click OK. So now I have my composite shot here. What I'm going to do is, is I am going to go ahead and track the lightsaber blade, okay? So here's how it's going to happen. I'm gonna create a new tracker and I'm going to make it a double point track. Yes, you heard that right, a double point track. I'm gonna move in using my mouse wheel. I'm gonna take the first point track and I'm gonna put it near the front of the lightsaber, okay? In this case, I'm gonna track that red dot because it's gonna be very easy to track, but I'm gonna put the dot here the tracking point where the lightsaber extension is going to happen. I'm going to take the second part and I'm going to put it near the rear of the lightsaber this way. That way it will catch any rotational data that I want to get. Then all I have to do is start tracking and I'll fast forward through this. And that only took a few seconds, actually. So now what's going to happen is, is I'm going to go back to my viewer layer, and I'm going to create a new point layer. And this new point is going to be the hilt point of the lightsaber. And what I'm going to do is under the tracker, I'm going to tick rotation as well as X and Y position, and I'm going to transform that tracking data to the hilt point. So now the hilt point itself will move with my lightsaber as it moves. And not only will it move, but it will rotate as the lightsaber rotates as well, okay? So then it just becomes a matter of adding another point, which will be the tip point, okay? And the tip point I'm going to place out here where I think roughly the lightsaber is going to be. Let's go ahead and add a plane, and this will be the blade. All right, and I'm going to right click on it, change the blend mode to add. Under effects, I'm going to look for the uh, two point auto light sword effect, and I'm gonna drag it onto the plane. I'm gonna twirl this open. I'm gonna place the hilt on the hilt point, and I'm going to place the tip on the tip point and go ahead and zero that out. So now I have a pretty good idea of where that's going to sit. And I'm just going to move the tip point until I think it's about exactly where I want it to be. Okay, when I have that, then I'm going to go ahead and parent the tip point to the hilt point. So as the hilt point rotates, the tip point will rotate as well, okay? Then I can go ahead and finish up the rest of making the blade look how I want it to look. So now that I've done that, all I have to do is keyframe the extension right here of the tip point. So I would start by adding keyframing to the extension and then making it zero so that it is not extended. Then I can move forward as far as I want to. In this case, I'm gonna move forward two seconds. I want it to go over a long period of time and then keyframe it to be 100%. Now I'm going to go ahead and make that second keyframe a manual Bezier. And if I open up the value graph, then you can see how it sort of curves. And I really want the lightsaber to jump out and then extend slow after that. So I'm just going to drag this handle back a bit like this so that I have a very cool looking sort of jumping out. And now if I do a, 
uh, real quick um, RAM preview, I will have something that looks like this. Yeah. So now I would want to go ahead and add my light flare effect. Okay. Just to sort of hide the front or the hilt part here where it comes together. So I'm going to take my light flare. I'm going to drop it onto the same uh, plane that has the light sword effect, but I'm going to put it above it. Uh, what I want to do is change that and I'm going to change it to an anamorphic enterprise flare. I'm going to go ahead and set zero out the um, hilt position or the uh, hotspot position and then put it on the hilt itself. Uh, and then what I will do is I will keep frame the intensity, start about 0.6, and then at two seconds, I want it to be about 0.3. I want it to still have that uh, throughout. But again, I want to do the same thing. I want to make a manual Bezier, open up the value graph, maybe pull this back a bit so that I get a pretty cool looking firing out of that thing like that. And then if I run a RAM preview here, it will look something like this. And there you go. So as a recap, the key to this is to use two point tracker to get data on both sides of the lightsaber so that you can gain the rotational aspect for the hilt point. And then you just parent the tip point to that hilt point and it will reflect that rotational data as well. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.